Hey, greetings, Cancer. Let us take a look at your love message for today. Eight of Cups. Good energy. Good energy. This is true love. Good energy. Good energy. There could be someone around you or some people. Either you're very, very attractive. Well, that's the point. You're very attractive. You're very beautiful. So you're getting a lot of attention. And this could be loving attention, loving admiration that you're getting. And some of it could be evil eye and jealousy and envy. But you're getting a whole lot of attention, all right? And yeah, I feel like someone could be upset at you that they can't be like you, they can't dress like you, they can't get away with certain things like you. So someone may be trying to compare themselves to you, but they are not you, right? You are you, right? So this is your love reading for today. You have a, you're just looking amazing. You're growing, you look mature, you look healthy, you look like you're about your business, and you're very, very attractive. You're attractive physically and emotionally beautiful. All right. And do you make people feel good or people want to be around you, be with you? All right. So a lot of people giving you attention. Yeah, they like how you live your life or follow your heart or dream, your dreams or speak a truth. All right. So I feel blessings coming in for you. Fortune, luck, prosperity. And at love at first sight energy, right? Mm-hmm. With a mature man or mature woman, someone coming in that is full of love for you, someone that is thinking you're perfect, you're beautiful, someone even like want to make you their main person, they want to tell you double times, triple times how perfect you are, how amazing you are, how lovely, right? You're very, very lovely, someone has eyes all over you. This person, they want to come in with an offer, they want to ask like to be, to be with you. Yeah, they want to know what you think about that. For real, someone has a love offer, a love message for you. And they want to work with you. They want to show you what they feel. I'm telling you, someone wants to show you. They want to be very, very close to you, if you know what I'm saying. All right. Um, but this person also, they want to respect you, but they have these intense feelings for you of attraction. Yeah, the Ten of Swords is next. This person may be conflicted. For some reason, it could be an age situation or a money situation that may be keeping this person away or keeping them from moving toward you. That's the ten of swords. Someone is overthinking about you. Also getting, like you're being admired and you should not procrastinate on your ideas. And someone is sorry that they lost you or they can't be with you anymore. Like someone is really remorseful. They're, they thought that there was a time when you and them could remend and be together as well. Uh, be together but they're realizing that healing f with with you and them is not taking place so they're letting you go and this could be a family member too not just an ex yeah because someone betrayed you with the ten of swords you know we talk about this from the beginning or they betrayed you a long long time ago or from the beginning of the connection yeah this is an ex that you're separated from that was wasting your time or they were breadcrumbing you weren't giving you all that you were asking for they made they just lit you and they made you feel like you were the, the you were the one that was wrong all right now this person they see that you're getting admiration from all over left right and center and there's everything that is beautiful about you so know that they're seeing that is happening to you cancer they feel sad bad upset yeah, someone is feeling upset that they they took you for granted or they didn't see the fullness of you. Guilty. And yeah, they're guilty of that. And they're wishing that they actually like loved you how you're supposed to be loved. But they just feel like there's no chance for that. Right? So all that this person can do is stay from afar and watch you. I'm getting now that they are still praying for a, like a, a, a chance. Because they're trying to work on themselves because now they see your worth. This person is trying to work on themselves, but they still don't believe in themselves. The same issue that caused you all to to separate or to be blocked, that is the issue that this person is struggling with, maybe not believing they are worthy. Yeah, rejection. Someone may have rejected someone for wrong reasons, misjudgment, judging the book by the cover, not getting to know someone's intention fully. So they didn't really show up. Joy. Now this person, they, they just want to have you so very much. They see you being joyous, prosperous, and all they can do is think about you. Yeah, this person is realizing that they made a mistake and they want to be with you. They want to give up. They want to give up what they gave up for you to come back to you. Right? They gave up. So they gave you up for something else 
and like they thought it was prettier, shinier, like ooh wee, they like the flashy looking things. So they put you down for it. Now they're looking at you and they're realizing, ooh wee, you're a flashy thing. So they want to come back for you. You know that energy? Yeah. So expansion. This person is like when they don't, it's a greedy dog energy. Like the story of the greedy dog who saw his own reflection in the water with a bone in its mouth. Because the dog found a bone and went to the water's edge to look over. And he thought he saw an, another dog with a bone in his mouth. Alright, so he jumped in the water to get that bone from that other dog. Right, because it looked good, I guess, in that dog's mouth. So some, so that's the energy. Someone was very greedy. They wanted you. They wanted to have their other person too. Or if someone saw you with your per, your man or your woman already, they just thought that you look good and they want you, even though they already had their own person. Right, so someone like that is learning some lessons. Um, that you, mm -mm, vanity they shouldn't play with your energy now they want forgiveness all right i'm getting i love you there's also the per a person that really loves you for real that is sad not being with you let's see what happened between you and this person but yeah this person they're gonna want to come back in i hear close the door they don't want you to close the door on them so this could be a person that you met before that you shared a love connection with and there was some misunderstanding and they want to come back and ask you some questions like do you really think that we're not going down the same path do you really think that we're not meant for each other do you really think that you know so whatever someone wants to come in again and like be in your energy talk with you uh ask you if you're sure that some things can't work out because they want it to work because something hasn't been working for them maybe being single being without you it's not working for them. Them thinking about you, not being able to have you, it's not working. So they, they prefer to be with you. So this could, I feel two different energies, you know, so don't be confused. So it's the energy of two people. Maybe you've, some one, I don't know, one of them was like a past energy that did you really wrong, that chose someone over you, you know, sees you as looking shiny and brand new and want to come in. And there's a one that it's some like there was a misunderstanding and they just don't want to lose the opportunity, miss the opportunity to get to know you more. Because they were doing something that they were used to. They were used to being isolated. They were used to being single. But they can't stop thinking about you. Now they want to come in. So like I said, you also have people like watching you. A lot of them very attracted to you. Thinking about you. I hear naughty in different, different kind of ways and stuff like that. So be mindful of that energy even though you're protected mm -hmm. six of wands is next yeah the six of wands yeah i also feel competition around you too you're very beautiful you know you stand out you may have your hair like that um in shiny bumps or something or in a in a braid so we have soulmate. Yeah, someone is really admiring you. A lot of people are feeling, I feel like a lot of people are in love with you right now. And I think you're very attractive because you're just doing your own thing. You're self-discovering. It's so, like, whatever mystical, mysterious air you have about you, whatever soul-searching you are doing, is it's very attractive. It's giving attractive. It's giving sophisticated, independent, head on your shoulders. Um, self-worth energy is very attractive right now to a lot of people a lot of people love how you talk about yourself how you treat yourself how you carry yourself your aspirations right you may have have had people that were jealous of you and wanted to swap destinies with you wanted to take your spot okay mm -hmm. they may have been some of the ones that were talk, trying to talk behind your back um, trying to move you out of a particular position move you out of a place Maybe someone saw you with your man and wanted to break that connection up because they wanted what you have because it looked refreshing. It looked better than what they had going on, okay? Yeah, but with you, everything for you is perfect. It's you that someone is jealous of, of you know. It's not just what you have. So it does not matter where you go. They take, they, so you go, they take your person from you and you go sit under a mango tree. The mango tree starts to look good. And this person now wants the mango tree. Let's say they take the mango tree and you're going to go by the beach. This person now wants to go to the beach and take the beach. Because the beach is looking good. 
So it's like they go, they're trying to take things from you wherever you go, places from you, positions from you, a spot from you. But they're realizing they're obsessed with you. It's really you who they want to be around or be like is the energy. Your destiny, I'm getting someone cannot have what is yours. It is already written, ten of diamonds on the bottom of the deck. So there is someone in your energy that wanted your life, your lifestyle, your dream come true, your health, your wealth. Especially your wealth, whatever position you have in life, it's a abundant position. Um, just abundant, full of possibilities, potential, everything. And there's someone that's always watching you. Someone was trying to connect you, gossip about you, all these things. Talk about your man, about your woman behind your back and some things like that. But yeah, we'll move forward again. Yeah, that's the truth. That's the, the Knight of Swords. That's another sort. And this person is realizing that enlightenment card that they cannot compare to you and nothing compares to you. Yeah, so it's I hear father. Someone also wanted to take your father away from you in some way. Or if you're a father, someone wanted to take you away from your youth. Alright, I'm getting someone may even want to father your youth or something like that. Your despondence. Yeah, there was a time, like, let's say someone left you as a single mother or a single father. There's someone that wants to come in and be with you where someone else d neglected you. Someone else wants to come in and be everything for you. Okay, let's say someone else, someone said, I'm not going to have a baby with you. There's someone that's wanting to come in and have one with you. You know, for real, soulmate. You have a real love soulmate out here. Who is your soulmate? For some of you, you may have like, this is like I said earlier, multiple people cancer in love with you, wanting to be with you. Your soulmate may be keeping like hidden a bit. Why is your soulmate hiding? If this person, your soulmate is blocked or hiding or they're working on themselves and they're shy. Your soulmate need or twin flame need to come out of this energy and come into the light because you love them as they are. Like you love this person so much, whoever this is. You love them. You love everything about them just as they are. They were made for you. So even if, if this is you hiding away cancer, your person loves you so, 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 so much as you are. All they need to do is see your face. You don't need to have anything. You don't need to put on any extra thing or not. It's just your face and your essence that this person wants. Your acceptance. It's just you. It's just your face. Your face may shape like a heart or your face represents like a shining light of love. You know those videos where they say, um, like when the person you love shows up your face, just looks different. Then when you're just standing out there in the crowd by yourself, you may just, you're not smiling or anything. So whenever you see your person or whenever they see you, their whole life light up, their eyes light up, your face light up. And that just, that's the energy that they want. All right. Yeah. So I'm getting, I love you. Death card on the table as well. Um, it's giving some, some going around. I'm hearing some type of an increase as well. You're going to get, it feels like money. I feel like you're getting some type of a money compensation for something from your past that is due to you. All right, expansion. Let's see. And moon card. Oh my gosh, hidden enemy. There's something about rush. So we have the moon card. Yeah, someone was trying to do something really toxic to you that hidden enemy or this is like a secret crush but i'm getting a hidden enemy vibe for true and um what they were trying to do wasn't i hear it wasn't co-legal whatever we will see but yeah i feel like the truth is coming out about this person i promise you because that's why we have the ten of swords one of them was a wicked liar one of someone from your past that's what I'm saying. There's two different energies. A, a person from your past that you completely cut off. You gave a lot. You gave your everything to this person. Right? And they they misused it. And they were like wishing the, the worst victim. Someone was trying to use you. Take you for granted. This person is cut out of your life. And they're so sad. Guilty. They're sad and they're sorry, but they may they may need to take accountability. They don't they can't come back in your life as the same person, but they're watching you. Right? There's something about your mother or a father or a parent. 
Someone was, I hear antisocial. Someone is literally was, someone was devious toward you in your past with that death and the moon card. Okay, it's like you don't even know what you've survived with that six of wands up there. So it's a good thing that you trust yourself, you trust the process, you put your trust in the most highest, decide to follow your heart and pull back from someone. Okay, because they were like watching you, spying on you and taking your information and trying to use your energy. This, I'm telling you, something was happening in your love life in your past. It was literally, it was sick. It was no good. It was no good. You could have also like, you probably were somehow um, intoxicated. Like imagine a snake biting someone. So you probably got some type of a something, but... I feel like you're in a phase now where you are healed, you're cleared, you're back, you're back to your balanced state. You're more oriented now. You're not just confused and all over the place because whatever that snake did to you, it was like it is. It has worn off, and you're safe now. This person, someone was evil and wicked and cruel. All right, in your past, that's the energy I'm feeling strongly. The things that this person did and they kept it a secret and they kept it, these things in the dark. And I'm getting that they also wanted to blame you, Cancer. They wanted to gaslight you, golden child. They wanted to put everything up onto you. But maybe you didn't even realize that behind your back someone was trying to say you were the one doing something. When they were the one like was, was mashing you down. That's why this child, this person makes me want to cuss. That's why they're not... Welcome back into your life. And they know it too. So they're staying afar and watching you. Okay. They're watching you obsessively. The judgment card is exactly. This person is going through judgment. Right now. They can't come toward you. Judgment saw what this person did. They, they misused your love. And took you for granted. Hard. Like I said. You gave everything to this person. They're going through judgment. They're going through hell of a things right now, Cancerian. Right? They want you back, but they're not to come back in your life. Isolation. They're to stay away from you. You're shut off from this person and blocked. They're crying. They feel mad, irritated, pissed off. So, to do dum dum. Mad and irritated that you're not giving them your, your love and your attention anymore. Because they were so used to feeding off of your vibration. Okay, judgment has been called. You're in a new beginning now, right? You have an admirer, secret, beautiful energy person that's godlike. The rain may fall today and lightning and something like that, like a storm. Um, but this person is coming through like there's a goddess energy coming out of this storm. You know, a brand new person that's meant to you, for you like they've been formed by the storm. Okay, the nine of cups and they're coming in to make you happy make your dreams come true and this person is coming in quickly they will probably like your feet or something like this like this maybe i hear taylor smith they'll probably like your feet right like what was that like like um cinderella shoes energy like this will be your one someone that has been something powerful is coming in this is give it like right prayer like your prayer is being answered it's coming in quickly, like, swoosh. Because this powerful person, if you like, imagine someone coming from a different lifetime into this lifetime through a portal. That is how someone is coming in your life. Your, and your prayer, whoever this person is, is someone you've been praying for. And it's perfect. And it's, come, it's being fulfilled in your life. With, before your eyes, this beautiful new person that will love you and heal you and tell you the truth and you will bask in their energy and someone will just be looking and feeling jealous right because they feel like you're beautiful you're on you're you're near you're very attractive and everybody wants to like know your name and so they get jealous that's the energy all right so the ten of diamonds like a dream come true deja vu dream life everything that you've ever wanted and then some yeah okay so we live in it here so continue focusing up on your happiness your dreams fulfilling um something about a pregnancy as well are bringing youths into this world you're protected i think you spoke out you spoke your truth and the heavens heard you the law heard you 
and so it they protected you from any evil family or exes that was trying to de um, break you down break down you down spiritually financially mentally any type of alley okay right so you're protected and i feel backfires as well with the death card and it's the, the wand's energy and the backfires are happening very quickly so you keep focus upon your healing and i love you and i'll see you in the next one all is well and all is within you beautiful soul thank you for liking the video sharing commenting subscribing all of your support is up and appreciated and i will catch you in a live reading so be sure to turn on your notifications when i'm live so you can come on and interact and ask your questions so on and so forth much love to check out more um, information uh about section on this channel have a glorious rest of day much love thanks